Welcome everybody to the seasonal diet, eating what our ancestors ate, when they ate it, like we were evolved to do. Today we are uncovering an ancient practice and examining if this could have been true when we match it with the modern science. It was written about the Germanic tribes almost 2000 years ago that young men would abstain from sex in order to grow taller in stature. And if any young man had sex before the age of 20, it was regarded as scandalous. Now this was the Germanic tribes we're talking about in not just one, but two sources. These are the ones that the Romans feared more than anyone, and they were the tallest and biggest of all the Romans' foes, and still are. The Germanic peoples today are, on average, the tallest in the world. But is it because we choke the chicken less than other cultures? I don't know. So there is some modern science to this. What we know is that after ejaculation, something called prolactin is released in an increased amount. Prolactin does a lot of good things, some of them uh, beneficial, but one negative thing is that it affects the pituitary gland in men, temporarily inhibits the release of certain hormones, specifically hormones LH and FSH. So luteinizing hormone is an important hormone in both males and females, playing a key role in sexual development and reproductive function, and it's mainly responsible for testosterone production in men. LH is crucial for the onset and progression of puberty, and it works alongside other hormones like the second one, follicle-stimulating hormone, and other sex hormones like estrogen or testosterone to bring about the physical changes associated with puberty. So that other one, FSH, that's another critical hormone in human development. Same kind of thing there, it's responsible for the onset of puberty and its development. But neither of these hormones have been directly proven to show, uh, to have any effect on height. So growth hormone is the one that's primarily responsible for height growth during puberty. And although these hormones are related, uh, they're not the same and masturbation has not been shown in any studies to inhibit growth hormone. So there definitely are some studies showing that jerking off can lead to temporarily lower testosterone and androgen production, specifically during puberty. Young men who do no fap during this time would probably have a higher chance of being more muscular and built than just more manly, uh, going through puberty uh, uh, quicker than others who would be jacking off every day. But it doesn't seem like from the data that we have any evidence to show that jerking off actually influences the height someone will grow to be. So it is possible that abstaining from masturbation may increase height during puberty indirectly because all these hormones kind of work together. But there is no data to prove that it has any effect. Um, there is one more theory linking the nutrients lost in ejaculation to height. We know that certain nutrients are lost in the jizz, like vitamin C, B12, calcium, citric acid, fructose, lactic acid, magnesium, zinc, potassium, sodium, but especially zinc, the, that's lost in uh, ejaculation and that has been tied to height. Some people taking zinc to maximize their height during puberty. But during ejaculation, you don't lose uh, enough of that to have any effect on your height, according to the uh, science. Uh, so it seems like NoFap actually doesn't have any scientific research linking it to increased height that we know of. However, is there something that modern science is not looking at, that the ancient Germanic peoples were aware of? Something maybe more spiritual and deeper, maybe? They obviously believed it to the point where they were able to get an entire culture of raging testosterone-filled young men to abstain from sex until they were 20. And these were the biggest people on Earth on average at the time. I don't know, what do you guys think? That's why I make these videos. There are some studies we just have to do ourselves because the medical, <laughs> you know, scientific community is not going to do these kinds of studies. There's no money that can be made from it. So how about all of you? Uh, answer us down below. How tall are you compared to your parents? Did you choke the chicken during puberty? Do you think you achieved your maximum height? I don't know. Me? Oh god, I was an absolute horn dog in high school. I was choking the chicken basically 
every day, and this was at a time before we could get porn on our phones that we could put in our pocket. We had to go from memory or pictures back then. I can't imagine how often kids today are probably jerking off uh, with a database of porn in their pocket they can pull out any time. Uh, me, I grew to be six foot two, a little more. Um, my dad is taller than that. I probably could have got a few more inches taller, but I was also starved to death growing up poor and malnourished, and I had barely slept. Um, so there, there, there are a lot of factors leading to me and others not being the peak height that we could reach. Uh, but what about you guys? Let us know down below. What was your lifestyle like? How tall did you grow? How tall are your parents? It's maybe too late for us adults, but we can help out the youth to maximize their height so they don't have to go through the same mistakes that we did. So that's all for today. Let us know down below.